हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सोर्सेस ऑफ कॉन्टामिनेशन एंड देयर प्रिवेंशन राइट सो वेन एवर वी आर मेंटेनिंग एनी एसेप्टिक एरिया और एनी एसेप्टिक रूम राइट सो वाट आर द सोर्सेज फ्रॉम वेयर आवर प्रोडक्ट्स और आवर थिंग्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी कॉन्टामिनेटेड वाट मे बी द सोर्सेज एंड हाउ वी कैन प्रिवेंट देम to be contaminate right so that is we are going to discuss here so here majorly four types of sources we can expect the first one is the atmosphere second one is the uh, by the operator uh, third one by the raw materials and uh, through the equipments uh, so these are the sources from where microbes can interfere your proceedings right so coming to the first one atmosphere atmosphere means air right in atmosphere there will be the air and that air it is everywhere and the air is the major transport or major source of contamination because from air only the microbes can travel and it can it, they can enter into the, your aseptic area right so in this air it will contain dust particles all the dust will be there microbes it may be there and the spores or microbial spores may also be there and that is going to be the what you call uh, sources for the uh, contamination right so how we can uh, uh, reduce them it can be reduced by the chemical disinfection any of the so many dis disinfection we have studied like alcohol uh different types of dyes uh, detergent mm -hmm. and uh, aldehyde and all those things the phenolic compounds and all those things uv lights so we can use to disinfect uh, disinfect the things filtration can be done and the different gaseous agent we can use to make air the uh, filtered one right the second source uh, it is the operator right operator or the person who is going to be the operator he is uh, also one of the uh, he or she may be also one of the source uh, right say for example uh, the person uh, skin and its uh, his hair and the cloths uh, there may be the so many types of uh, microbes uh, may be present or dust particles or different biological particles it may present that is going to be the potent source of contamination and the manual contamination means if the person who is operating or who is doing the transfer or inoculation he is not a skilled person so manually there may be a chances that he or she is going to commit the mistake and uh, from there uh, so many ch uh, chances of attacking of microbes and particles uh, that is going to be the contaminant so next uh, operator should be in proper uniform that's what what we can do for the prevention the operator should be proper uniform he has to wear the gown the mask uh, gloves and all those things with fully covered body the body part should be covered these parts uh, skin hair and cloth should be covered properly and uh, he should be skilled so that manual contamination can be uh, Uh, avoid by the skilled person because he know how to do what to do okay third one it is the raw materials raw materials it may be any types of uh, plant materials powders uh, solids semi solid any form it may be right so the during the proceedings of these raw material say for example in proper sampling in storage condition proper storage condition if it is if you are not maintaining and if uh, not filtered water if you are using so those may be the sources of contamination right so what we can do to avoid this we can do the heat sterilization if uh, depend on to the sample what kind of raw material we are having right heat sterilization we can do filtration we can do and different types of dry heat sterilization moist heat sterilization can be done uv light uh, uv treatment can be done for the water so that we can kill or inhibit the microorganism or we, we can make the microorganism in inactivate state then we can use so that is the prevention uh, measure preventive measure we can do for the different types of raw materials fourth one though those are the equipments right so different equipments we are uh, using into the microbiology lab so those equipments also may contain the different types of microbes and biological material that may be the cause of contamination say for example processing holding transferring and packaging for these process we are using different types of equipment so these equipments uh, what it may be it may be the improper designed equipment suppose if it is the old one and uh, if old one there may be the corrosion also may develop because of the moisture and all those thing then improper cleaning suppose cleaning it is not being done properly into the 
daily basis into the weekly basis or monthly basis so definitely they may contain the microbes and biological materials then lake of sterilization if sterilization it has been not been done by the chemical disinfection or by the so many gases method so definitely microorganisms may retain over there so how we can avoid how we can prevent them we can sterilize by heat uh, heat to heat depend on the equipments what is the what is the size of equipment how large it is what is the glassware so uh, where then different things gaseous agent suppose in if any large equipments we cannot put them in autoclave right so how we can we can uh, just uh, uh, fumi fumigation can be done the gases uh, which is having the germicidal property can be passed through the equipment and the different chemical can be sprayed like how we are doing the sanitization and all those things autoclaving can be done for the glassware the liquid media and all those preparation right so likewise we can uh, we will be able to know that these are the different source uh, four sources from where the microorganisms or the particles can enter and these are the precautionary measure can be done to avoid the contamination during the processing of the transfer or inoculation thank you